Iran says a new drone it has unveiled has a range of 7,000 kilometers, according to Tasnam news agency and other reports, making it a challenge to the United States and a clear warning to Israel. Even if the drone has not achieved such a long range in a real flight, easily far enough to fly from Tehran to Reykjavik Iran is sending a warning message that it can strike Israel with this weapon. Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps Commander Major Gen. Hossein Salami has said the new drone has a 7,000 km range, which means it could fly from Iran or via Yemen or Syria over Israel and back to its base. Iran recently unveiled a drone called Gaza, a clear reference to the recent 11-day conflict between Hamas and Israel. It is unclear if the 7,000 km range refers to the range of the new Gaza drone or another type. IRGC Aerospace Force Commander Gen. Amir Ali Hajizadeh is one of the key figures behind the drone and missile program. The IRGC commander-in-chief, who was enumerating the country's achievements in technology and science and also developed the field of aerospace, said today we have wide-body drones that go back and forth 7,000 kilometers and land anywhere they want Tasnam reported. The new Gaza drone is called the Shad 149 and is larger than the Shad 129, the report said. Iran may have sent a drone to Yemen that could threaten Israel, Newsweek reported in January. In May Iran was behind the launch of a drone from Iraq via Syria into Israeli airspace. Israel shot it down. According to Salami, the new Shad 149 can carry 13 bombs. Until now, the Shad 171 drone, which was a one-to-one -one scale copy of the American RQ-170, had a range of 4,400 kilometers and was the longest range drone in Iran Tasnam reported. Iran downed the US RQ-170, a secretive spy drone, in 2011 and claimed to have reverse-engineered it. The new long-range drone supposedly can take off and land, unlike Iran's kamikaze drones, which are pre-programmed to fly and hit a specific target, similar to a cruise missile. In theory, this new drone could be programmed to fly a long distance and then land somewhere else, Iranian media sources have said. In recent years, the armed forces of our country, especially the IRGC Air Force, have made extensive investments in the field of UAVs and have achieved significant achievements in this field Tasnam reported. Iran boasted about how pro-Iran militias have been showing off new drone capabilities in Iraq, the report said. A recent pro-Iran militia parade showed militias now have a variety of drones, including a Mohajer 6, an Iranian-style drone. The Iranian-backed Houthis in Yemen announced new drone attacks on Saudi Arabia on Saturday as well. The public presentation of Iran-made drone equipment by PMF groups could represent a regional shift in tactics for Iran. What we are seeing with the Iranian-supported groups is that some are incredibly open about their equipment, including Hamas and the Houthis. Others so far have been incredibly secretive, including Hezbollah and PMF factions, Mr. Hinz said. And I think this slight shift with the Iraqi factions is indeed related to the threats they made during the Gaza war and the new narrative of a regional multifront war. On May 14 at the height of the conflict in Gaza, Iraqi militia group Ashab al-Kaf, thought by PMF expert Tamer al-Badawi to be linked to an established Iran-backed group called Asab al-Al-Haq, claimed to have fired missiles from Syria over the Golan Heights against Israel. The Israeli military acknowledged that there had been a rocket attack. A Sabal Lal Haq leader Kais Ghazali previously visited the Israel-Lebanon border with Hezbollah commanders in December 2017, promising to fight the Israelis. Israel has attacked these groups in Syria, part of an air campaign to stop them moving drone and missile equipment, carrying out about 1,000 airstrikes in the past three years. If the groups choose to use Iraqi soil to attack Israel, it could represent a dangerous escalation, pulling Iraq into the zone of Israeli air operations. If that happened, it would not be the first time Israel has been accused of striking Iraq in recent years. In the summer of 2019, a number of large explosions rocked PMF ammunition dumps in Iraq, leading to rumors that Israel was already taking action against suspected Iranian weapons in PMF hands.
The New York Times quoted an unidentified U.S. official saying that Israel had carried out the airstrikes. But other unidentified U.S. officials said the explosions were probably the result of poorly stored ammunition in the blazing summer heat, a possibility given that groups not aligned to Iran also experienced ammunition explosions over the summer months, including the Kurdish Peshmerga.